strongly recommend the use of fungicides in wheat, but the question is, when are you going to spray those fungicides? Well, today we're going to talk about the earliest timing. That would be together with herbicide, or what we would call herbicide timing. When we look at early season disease issues in wheat, they're pretty common. It's just a question of how bad are they going to get, how far up the plant are they going to spread. If we've got an early season stressor, now every other stress we pile on top of it really compounds and gets even worse. So I want to eliminate as much stress as I can all the way through the season. That's why this early fungicide app really pays more times than not on our farm and many other farms around the country. Okay, let's get a little more specific here. We're after tan spot and a few other early season diseases. The whole thing is, in terms of wheat plants in general, they're not very disease tolerant. Okay, they have some tolerance, but it's not great. Just think about what you're dealing with here. We've got a very thick stand in most cases. It's trapping moisture. Every morning you walk out there, there's dew on the leaves. Those conditions are just ripe for disease happening almost every single year. Plus the fact that when the plant is really small, you can get by in most cases with a low rate. And very often, this is right on the label even, they'll tell you, hey, early on you can spray something like a half rate. Okay, so if you're going to be out there spraying herbicide already, you're only going to have to spend 3 to $5 an acre. Why would you not throw it in there? Because in most cases, guys are gaining two, three, four, five bushels of wheat. This is something that on average really should pay in most situations. All right, so it comes down to which products you're going to do. If you say, yeah, okay, I'm in, I'm in, I'll, I'll go ahead and do this, which products do I use now? Well, there are some really cheap generics out there that are pretty tempting. When you look at, at Tilt, when that went off patent, and, and there's tons of generic propiconazoles out there, boy, they're about as cheap as they come. The question is, two bucks an acre. Do they really work? You know, at two dollars an acre, if I spend another dollar or if I spend another couple bucks, I can get a second mode of action. Uh, what am I going to gain with that? Well, you're going to get a much broader spectrum of diseases controlled. You're also going to help avoid resistance issues. And I think that's uh, a couple of real key points here for using either a combination premix or if you're going to go the cheap generic route, at least mix two different modes of action in there, uh, a strobe and also one of the triazoles to try to get as many of these diseases under control as possible. The number one product we're probably talking about right now is Nexacore because it's only around five bucks an acre for the labeled rate at herbicide timing. What you get there is a strobe, the headline basically, a triazole, and an SDHI. Now you can get something fairly similar with Trivapro, costs just a little bit more money. So either way you go, Nexacore, Trivapro, you've got three modes of action. That, either way, that's our number one recommendation. Now, if you want to go down to two modes of action, that'd be our second choice. You can certainly do that. Plenty of options there. Uh, there's, there's Quilt, there's Quilt XL, there's Stratego Yield. You, you've got a lot of choices. All right, let's talk about length of control here because this is one thing I don't want any mistakes on that, well, hey, I sprayed a fungicide. I should be good now in my field. Well, you just protected the leaves that were out at the time you sprayed the fungicide. So as that plant continues to put on new leaves every week, guess what? They're unprotected. That fungicide doesn't move that much in the plant. That's why when we get to flag leaf, we're going to talk fungicide again. That's going to be the next opportunity uh, where we can really improve or protect yield and also deal with plant health issues that may come up. We can strengthen the plant health by putting on another fungicide application at flag leaf. So we're doing something now that's going to get us by for at least a few weeks in the growing season. Once again, we really, really encourage you use fungicides in your wheat. You should get plant health benefits. You should get decent disease control. Our number one recommendation is use a product that has three modes of action at herbicide time. Fungicides are great for preventing disease, but they do nothing for our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 